Hey guys, this is Nishro here, and um, I'm here giving you my Gladiator B stack profile. And yeah, so let's just start this off. First, we got the main deck. One Augustus. It's a good special summoning power, especially from the hand. Test Tiger into him first turn is pretty good. Two Lacari, because he's nice. Three Darius, because you need someone to bring uh, your dead monsters back. Uh, two Aquis because he can recycle the War Chariots and he is a very good card in general. My bestie, uh, Bestiari, gets rid of the back row. Uh, Rediari banishes from your opponent's graveyard, it's pretty helpful. Um, Marmelo pops your opponent's card. Lanista just uh, filling up extra space. And, uh, and uh, he's also level 4, 18, Wing Beast. Double Test Tiger because. This is like an uh, amazing card when you have when you need to summon out a Gladiator Beast. Even even the one that you send back with his effect, if you need to summon a Gladiator Beast from your deck and and you need an effect, he's perfect. And yeah, that's some monsters. That is not too many monsters. Uh, I like to keep it uh, more back row based because. You know this format. You know you can't really re rely on all your monsters. You have to be more about the back row. Anyway, so for monsters, uh, we use two Proving Ground. We use Double Duality, and we use not one but two. These are Mystical Spirit Typhoons. Um, I altered the art. Um, using a method that I learned in a uh, uh, fellow YouTuber uh, video um, that I watched, and I'll leave a link in the description to so you guys can see how to do that. Single Lance, Single Defisher for those Shadows and Burning Abyss. It's town nice. It's like a weakness to a lot of decks, and it doesn't really affect you, and I'll show you why later. Respite, Ancient Force, because he, your monsters, basically what this does is feel spell. Every every monster that attacks is destroyed in the battle phase, but your monsters, the Gladiator Beast, they go back before they're destroyed. And yeah, so you know, it doesn't really affect you. Next is Swords of Concealing Light. <laughs> Let me show you what the card actually looks like. It's this. This is a good card when your opponent has a big front field and you only have like a a small hitter, so you use this so you gotta save yourself, or you could punch and you know get into summoning more monsters. Uh, this is a dark hole uh, parchment shield because it is good, it's recyclable, and it just helps. And Book of Moon that's it for spells. Uh, traps we have. Double War Chariot. Don't worry, there's a third one in the side deck, but you know, two is good for now. Uh, double Babaku, because this card is just amazing. Do our summoning stoppers. Not really need any uh, explanation there, just you know, stopping summons since they were made. Call the Haunted. To bring back your dead monsters, especially during the battle phase, is very helpful. Torrential, because plays be be boss. Icarus for those times when you have a winged beast and you just I don't know. The pulse because it's just good. And the mirror force because it's just good. Now let's go into the extra deck. We have Two Dantes that aren't actually in the deck, they are just there to show you that I have Dantes and you probably don't. So, yeah. Let's go into one Nerokius, single uh, Essidar, double Geysaris, double Heracleanos. Just really good fusions. Delsaros. Because uh, it is an amazing card where if you bring it out and you can still whip out the Gladiator Beast, they cannot chain to your summons at all. 
Is there a point for those times where you have two wing beasts on your field? I know it's very, uh, very risky, but um, trust me, it, um, it may be needed when your opponent has a whole bunch of big monsters that have brawlic effects and you have nothing. Just go into this. Uh, the Sigma, because he's like, uh, why am I doing this? I can't, you guys can't even see that. Um, he's like a budget 101 mixed with a uh, Cataster. Basically, he requires three level fours, and what he does is he detach one, take one attack mission to effect monster your opponent controls, and you equip it to this card. And any monster he battles that is uh, a tribute to the equip card. Uh, basically he gets destroyed so yeah and you can equip three different cards to him well three cards or if you can recycle the mixing materials as many as you want uh, Utopia it's another alternate art I did I put the art from Rising Sun Slash on an actual Utopia card and it looks pretty dope if this was the actual art for Utopia people would probably respect them more uh, cowboy for those uh, end games, you know, it's basically a win condition. Kadosuchi, he's two level four beast warrior that it's not hard to get in this deck because of Darius. And yeah, basically what he does when he exceeds him, he mills five, and um, he gains hundred for every bujin that's sent. But obviously we don't use any bujins. He's just there because his second effect is. Um, if you be destroyed, you can just attach one instead. Heartland Draco, because this thing could attack directly, and uh, and while you control a face-up spell, it can be targeted for attacks. So if you have the Ancient Forest up, you know they can't target this thing. Uh, Masquerade, just for fun, just fill up space, but uh, it also helps stop some effects during the battle phase, and also makes your opponent mill one card. I don't know if that's good, but whatever. And lastly, Levier, because you you use four level threes, and if you can get into this, when they banish your bestie Ari, it won't mean anything. You and your bestie cannot be separated. You know? And again, two Dantes. Done. I have. Because I have a burning abyss deck that is for another day. Now let's go into the side deck, or it's more of other cards you can use than a side deck, but you know it's it got side deck elements. Anyway, so if you're running more of an ancient force build, you just put in a terraforming and another ancient force, and those will help those annoying decks. My drain for no reason, just a filler, you know, just an idea. Probably uses only stops hand though. Most other drain cards stop two places. This one's only stops in hand. Doom Caliber Knight because it is a very fun card. Mermillo for more popping power. I told you a third war chariot would be in the side deck. Proving Ground and because it's three searchers wouldn't be bad. Zephyros, because Zephyros is a Zephyros, and Zephyros is amazing. The, he's mainly better, well, he was better when this deck had, like, the Fire Fist stuff in it, but, um, you know, uh, yeah, you know. Uh, Foolish Burial, he's another card that I altered the art for, I put, uh, the Traveler and Burning Abyss, you know, you see Dante right there, you see the Burning Abyss, and he's, you know, like, the whole point of me putting this on the card, because, you know, he was, the monster's being sent to the grave, even though he's exceed. you know, if you don't like my creativity, stop watching my videos, you know what, so mean, uh, Wiretap, for trap negation, Magic Drain, to make your opponent go minus one, Hurricane. Uh, I don't know why I put this in. This was just in my pile, so I thought, why not? But it is a good card. Soldier. Shadows. 
the artifacts. Light and Prisoning Mirror just for artifacts. Counter Counter if if wires tap isn't enough. And Prohibition if uh, you are facing a deck that is very gay. And lastly but not least, I have a I had a Tiger King right here. Just showing you that uh, I had to take all the Fire Fist stuff at, out of the deck. Well, I took it out a pretty decent while ago, but um, you know the Fire Kings weren't really getting anywhere. I mean, Fire Fire Fists weren't really getting anywhere in the deck, so I just decided to uh, take them out, and I went for it, and the deck has not been better. I mean, seriously, I don't know why they even. I even suggested Fire Fist in the first place for, for Gladiator Beasts, you know. They can win by themselves. They're good this format. War Chariot for days. Icarus Attack is more of not really just a card to put in. It's more of just to show you that, you know, you can use a Wing Beast type version of the deck with uh, multiple good cards, you know. And if you're gonna put stuff like um, Gyoku, if you know that that's a Fire Fist card that stops back row, you can put stuff like him, or if you, or he could bring back a Dead Call of the Haunted, or you know Ancient Forest, or or Dead uh, Swords of Concealing Light, you know this thing, or yeah, and uh, yeah, he's just a good recycler and he's a wing beast, use it for that, or you can use him to get into Zero Find, and yeah. So, yeah, and it's, it's basically about it. Levier, also because you run D-Fissure, you use Levier and D-Fissure. And also, for D-Fissure, monsters that get detached by Xenotero material do not go to Grave. Anyone who tells you that is wrong. Um, lastly, one last card you could put in that I had in, but I wanted to put in more rank 4s for is Mechclip Engineer because he's a good uh, monster if um, basically your opponent has a whole field and you want to like survive for as long as you can and only thing you have is two level threes you get one to him. So new show here, that was it. Tell me what you think, like, comment, subscribe, and yeah. Do it for Dante. Do it for Dante people. Do it for Dante. Um yeah, this was Nisha here, and uh, Excalibur, or Excalibur, says goodbye.